Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a makeover on this old white dresser that was given to us and I really wanted to achieve a wood grain look and if you want to see how I was able to get this look, please make sure that you keep watching. Also, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you're following me over on Instagram. So to start off today's video, I am going to be making my own chalk paint. And to be honest with you guys, I watched so many videos on this and I read so many different recipes. They were all different and by the time I was ready to make my own chalk paint, I was like, you know what, I'm just going to wing it and just pour this in the bowl and see what happens. And honestly, it turned out really well. I did decide to use this old coffee mug just as a guide so in the future when I do make more paint, um, I know how much I actually poured in the mug, so I will be saving that mug for future projects. And you can see right here, I just poured like a generous amount of Plaster of Paris. I did about two cups of paint, and I maybe did about a half a cup of water, maybe a little less, maybe more. I'm not really sure, to be honest, but I will link a recipe below for you to follow. So I quickly wanted to mention, if you do decide to try this chalk paint, just keep in mind that the stirring process is the most important. You want to make sure that you get all that plaster of Paris broken down, or unfortunately when you're painting your project, you might have a couple, you know, thick chunky pieces that come out and you have to quickly wipe those away and paint over it. That did happen to me a few times, but to be honest with you, it wasn't a deal breaker. And I feel like that sometimes happens to me with chalk paint from the store anyway. So. I didn't mind it at all. Um, now moving outside, I'm going to quickly wipe the dresser down and then we're going to get to painting. I want to close my eyes and go back, play it in my mind. A movie of us two, yeah, we were happy at the time. Can't remember what it felt like. We used to be so strong That picture perfect sky now It looks so great and cold We've been playing here since 4 a.m. And you haven't said a word to me mm. Silent treatment, is this what it feels like When your heart is shaking, when it bleeds July got stuck out in the rain, but we danced around and didn't mind it. So young and reckless, baby, you and I. Oh my god, really? <laughs> no. <laughs> So you can see I had a little mishap there, but what I was doing here was just filling in these holes. I just felt like it would look a lot smoother and nicer if they were filled in. And what I did was I just put the filler there, let it dry, and then just sanded it down flat. And now I am going to show you guys a little up close look of how the chalk paint is looking so far. And this was after two coats. So for this dresser, I really wanted to use black knobs because that was kind of the look I was going for, very like modern farmhouse style. So I already had these knobs on hand and I just spray painted them black using this Rust-Oleum Matte Farmhouse Black spray paint. This stuff is amazing. If you ever buy matte spray paint, I highly recommend this one. It has lasted forever. I've used this on so many projects and it just leaves a very smooth, beautiful finish. Okay, so here are the colors that I have today. I have light mocha, melted chocolate, country gray, and pewter gray. And my plan is just to put them on this um, piece of cardboard and try my best to recreate this Pottery Barn dresser I seen on Pinterest. <clears throat> it had like a really painted, washed look, and I really just wanna amplify this dresser and make it look really nice. Um, 
so yeah i mean this dresser is actually in really really good shape it's so so sturdy i love it i just plan on using this in my son's bedroom and i want it to be a little bit more masculine not so crisp and white so the plan is to do some painting techniques on there and hopefully I can come up with something good. So what I'm going to do is just pour the paints randomly and then I will have a cup of water next to me in case I need to dilute any of the paint and I will show you guys that um, as I go. So let's go ahead and get started. So to start off, I am taking some melted chocolate and light mocha and adding two of those colors together. I really wanted a lighter brown. The melted chocolate was just a little too dark. Um, and then I'm going to leave the two grays how they are. And I'm also going to add a little bit of my white chalk paint to this as well. And then we're going to start our little brush technique. Now I will let you guys know right away that when I'm working on projects like this, I do get nervous too. I always worry that I'm going to really mess this project up and I have to start all the way over. I have fears too. <laughs> um, but the biggest thing with projects whenever I work on them is just to not give up. Right when I think that it's going to look terrible, it always comes together in the end. So don't give up. I know I say that in all my videos, but if you're going to work on a project like this, you have to follow through or you'll never know what it could turn out to be. And right here, you can tell I'm just kind of taking paint and just randomly mixing them together. This is optional. You can do this however you want. You can go in one color at a time, but you'll see that I start off being very light handed. And then I notice that, you know what, that's not going to work. Let me just paint this on and see what happens. So you'll notice I start very, very light-handed and then I start picking up the pace and really start adding some color to this dresser. A couple months ago I did a video on a kitchen table and it was one of my most popular videos on my channel and this is pretty much the same technique I'm just using different colors um, and once I started going I started to really remember how that project came out and that I really needed some darker tones so I really went in heavy in some areas with the dark brown and then the pewter gray those really gave the depth of the real natural wood look and I know it looks crazy right here but just don't stop watching, I promise it turns out really well. At this point, I'm going to find a wet wipe and I'm going to start blending this in. And what I did was I just took a little bit of white paint, some water, mixed that together, and I'm taking the wet wipe and I am just blending this together. And y'all just watch how this starts to transform into a real natural wood grain look. So a quick little update, this is what the dresser is looking like. It looks really good, but I don't really like how feminine it looks. I think that I definitely need to do a color on the bottom or just do the whole thing this wood look. Um, and originally that was the plan to do the whole thing this color. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. If it's a little too much, then I will go in with a solid color. So at this point, I'm really comfortable with this technique, and you'll notice that I really just kind of go in heavy-handed with all the colors. Um, I will say, though, that if you want a softer, maybe more of a very light, neutral look, I would say right there how I have that first drawer, stop there and then go over it with the paint. If you want a very heavy, natural wood look or like deeper wood look that I created, go in a little heavy-handed and 
Either way, it will turn out really good. There's no wrong way to do this or right way. Everybody's different and you can create anything you want. You just have to try. So I'm going to go in and blend all these colors together and then taking the wet wipe with the water in the white paint and just gently, very gently. I didn't mention that earlier, but you want to be very light handed with this because you don't want to rub off the paint. You want to just blend them together. I was at the wrong place at the right time Cause suddenly there you were with those bright blue eyes We were conversing under the night sky When you took my hand said let's leave now Don't wanna be shy I will let my guard down Don't wanna be shy about everything that was on our mind talking to you gave me butterflies then you took my hand said let's leave now don't wanna be shy So at this point of the project, I hit my first hiccup. I was almost finished and then I had a moment where I thought I completely blew the project. And you'll see in just a second how after adding a couple paint strokes, it looked really muddy at the top and I really was having a hard time blending the colors all the way from the top to the bottom. So. I just was like, you know what, I'm not going to give up. I'm going to blend it together and see if I can take the wet towel and hopefully I can get a good, you know, solid brush going. But you can see right here, it was a mess. And I honestly thought that there was nothing I could do to fix it. And then it hit me. I was like, why don't I just take the paintbrush very lightly and just recreate those brush strokes? And it worked. So if you hit this point, just take your paintbrush and very lightly brush over the wet paint and it will give you those lines that you want for that wood look. Moving on, I'm taking the Minwax Polycrylic in the semi-gloss finish and using a foam brush to apply this. You want to be very light with this and go and like add layers. I did a total of three layers, but you can, you know, do as many as you want, whatever you feel like is necessary. For me, I feel like three to four coats is plenty, but some people do a lot more than that just to have that extra protection. It's totally a personal preference. Um, and I did start by just doing a light coat first, and then I took the drawers back out and did a heavier coat the second and third time. Me. 
So after letting the dresser dry for a few hours, I added the black knobs on and now we're going to jump into some before and after clips. This is my favorite part of every project just to see the transformation side by side. And you can see up close here that the colors look so gorgeous. They're blending so well together and it really does look like a wood grain. I am so happy with the way this turned out. If you enjoyed as well, please give this video a thumbs up so that we, I know you want to see more videos like this in the future. I appreciate you guys watching so, so much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, y'all. Once you travel the world, all the spaces inside your heart.